The emergency room lights buzzed faintly overhead as Dr. Reyes strode past a line of weary faces. It was just after 2 a.m. when the ambulance radio crackled. Male, 29, unresponsive, suspected opioid overdose, naloxone administered en route, estimated time of arrival 5 minutes, room 3 was prepped in seconds, nurses adjusted the oxygen, and the crash cart stood ready. When they wheeled him in, his skin was ashen, lips tinged blue, his name was Marcus. A neighbor had found him in the bathroom of his small, apartment needle still in his arm, his phone playing a voicemail from his mother. He wasn't breathing when we got there, one paramedic said, chest still heaving from CPR. We hit him with Narcan, got a pulse, but he's not waking up. Dr. Reyes nodded and moved fast. IV vitals, labs, fluids, another dose of naloxone, a flicker of breath, then, eyes opened wide, confused, and scared. Marcus gasped like someone waking from the dead. Where? Where am I? You're in the emergency room, Dr. Reyes said gently. You overdosed, Marcus, but you're alive. He blinked slowly, tears welling. I didn't think it would happen this time. It wasn't his first visit. The records showed prior detox, court-mandated rehab, a brief stint clean, but somewhere along the line, unemployment, isolation, maybe just the ache to feel something. He slipped again. His mother arrived an hour later eyes rimmed red but shoulders squared. She sat beside his bed, held his hand, and whispered prayers between sighs. Marcus lived that night, but the road ahead would be steep. In room three, once filled with urgency and alarms, only quiet remained haunted not by death, but by the fragile, flickering thread of a second chance. If you enjoyed the story, subscribe, like, and turn on notification for more on the Medical Frontline Chronicles.